Hello, Lee Ellis here with your monthly coaching. Two months ago we started out with the honor code and article one was tell the truth even when it's difficult. Then last month we covered article two which is treat others with dignity and respect. This month we go to article three which is keep your word, honor your commitments, keep your promises. Go If you fail, if you know you can't keep it, then let someone know as soon as possible. Let's take a look at this. Why is this so important? Well, it's really about trust, first of all. And trust is the really the foundation for all leadership and all relationships. So trust is, a, is very important. And when you don't keep your word, it undermines that right away. It's also important just for business execution, for uh, family execution of getting things done, picking up the dry cleaning or the groceries or whatever it is you're supposed to do, if you promise to do it. Find a way to keep those promises. Very important. Well, we're all, we're all good people. We all say we keep our promises. We keep our word. But the reality is it's very easy to slip up on this. We all do. I remember about 15 years ago, I was in a situation at a weekend retreat when we were talking about self-governance and keeping our word and that sort of thing. And I thought, well, I don't have any problem with this. So I decided to keep track. And sure enough, by noon that day, I'd broken three promises. Now, they weren't real formal promises, but I had certainly inferred that I would do something that I didn't come through on. And I think that was just happened that way, uh, kind of providentially, to kind of teach me a lesson about how easy it is to say you'll do something and then not follow through. I think we all have that tendency from time to time. We get covered up, we have good intentions, but we don't follow through. Now, let's say that you really do want to grow in being able to keep your word and honor your promises. Uh, this is something that's important, important to me and I all, I'm always working on it. The first thing we have to do is be intentional. Be intentional. Is this a real value for me and is it something I'm really committed to and I want to make very important? Because we do what's important to us. So if this is very important to to you and to me, then we have to be intentional about doing that. And what we say something, we have to become aware of our words. So I'd say step two is let's become more self-aware of what we're saying. And if we start to promise someone something that we may or may not be able to deliver on, maybe we should just stop ourselves and say, well, I'd like to do that. I'm not sure yet if I can, but I'd like to do it. I just can't commit to it yet. So that keeps us from jumping out into things that, that we may uh, too quickly overcommit for. The third one is we want to be consistent. Whatever we are making these commitments, we want to be consistent and that's hard to do sometimes just because we get so much information coming at us, we get overwhelmed. So that's where I think teamwork can come in. Being organized and making notes can help. But I really rely a lot on my team. Uh, I try to tell them of the commitments, especially those at work that I've made. I put them on my schedule, they can see that and they help me, they remind me sometimes of things that, uh, that are on my to-do list or they know that I've committed to do or that the, the deadline is coming and I've committed to do it and I haven't done any work on it yet. They're really good about coming alongside and saying, oh, how's that coming along? And I really appreciate that, you know. Got to get over this independence and pride and admit that we need that team around us to help us, whether it's family or work or wherever. We need that. So monitoring ourselves, uh, having that team around us to help monitor can be very important in keeping our word and our commitments. Now what happens if we can't keep a commitment? Then we need to fail fast. We need to move towards the person that's expecting us to come through and let them know. Ask for relief sooner than later if necessary. And I, we hope they'll understand, but at least they're not going to be left holding the bag. They know that we're not coming through on that particular commitment. And most people will understand because they know that you are a person of honor. They know that you try to keep your commitments and they sometimes will just have to let you off the hook and give you grace, we hope. But that's better than not telling them. So we want to be honorable people. We want to keep our commitments, but we have to work at it. And the big part of there is recommitting to being that kind of person, then being intentional, being consistent, getting help from our team, and being well aware of what we're saying and backing off on some of our commitments when we really can't keep them. This is one I have to work at because I can't do all the things that people would like for me to do and that I would like to do. So I have to say no. One way I do that, by the way, is I'll say I need to talk to my team 
before I commit to that. And then we can talk about it and decide if I really can come through with that one or if I can't. That really has helped a lot. So those are some tips that will help you to honor your word, keep your commitments, and when you can't, let someone know in a hurry. Have a good month, and I'll see you again soon.